All right, 2013 starting off with a sound of some sort. It's not quite a bang, but it's a sound. Texas Chainsaw 3D. So Texas Chainsaw 3D is another Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. Is it a reboot? Is it a sequel? Here's how it's gone down as I understand it. Texas Chainsaw Massacre came out in 1974. Then it had a couple of sequels. Then it had a movie, I think it was a reboot. It sounds like it was a reboot. It has the words next generation in the title. So I'm saying reboot. But that doesn't really matter because they rebooted it in 2003 with Michael Bay as producer. And then that movie got a prequel showing how Leatherface became Leatherface. Now we have Texas Chainsaw 3D. Texas Chainsaw 3D is actually a sequel to the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie, which is what Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 was, I imagine. But no, now Texas Chainsaw 3D is the official sequel to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, negating all sequels and reboots that ever came after the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie in hopes of being fresh and new, yet sticking with the roots. And did it succeed? I don't know, it depends on whether or not the roots are a piece of shit. Look, I'm not even gonna bullshit you guys or string you along. I'm just gonna explain to you why this movie's terrible. First of all, the acting. You see the actors and you're like, these people are really attractive. The main chick is this really hot brunette chick. She always has these crop top shirts. It shows her little waist and her abs. Not only is she extremely attractive, but her friend's hot too, but hot in that slutty kind of way. And the dudes are really attractive. Bad actors also. This one cop guy's like, hi, I'm a cop. How you doing? Hey, I'll see you later. You know I'm gonna be in the movie later because I look like I just got off the set of a CW show. I couldn't get the part in Arrow, so now I'm in this movie. So in the plot of this piece of shit, this hot chick inherits this mansion. Of course, Leatherface is in this mansion, so now he just starts tearing people up. All the while, any shot of the crew walking automatically is a shot of the hot chick's asses as they walk away from the camera, and, you know, that's all well and good. I have to touch on how hot the chicks are in this movie because that's the positive that I took away from this. I'm like, oh yeah, hot chicks, awesome, but as being a reviewer, I have to be able to pull myself away from that situation and mentally go, but is the movie good? No, it is not. That may not sound like much, but for guys, it's a superpower. We're not born with the ability to do that. We have to really develop that. Years and years of strenuous practice and being a nerd in high school and rejection taught me to think with this. Not even majority of the time, but you know, when it comes to videos, I take that shit seriously. The dialogue's terrible. The script is abysmal. It's like Halloween H2O where you're like, all right, so they're going back and making a sequel to a movie that was like 20 years ago, 30 years, 40 years ago. <laughs> time does fly in the movie world. And you're like, well, that was your shot. Now it's over. Halloween Halloween H2O had Joseph Gordon-Levitt in it. Trivial knowledge there. This movie has nobody. Nobody in this movie will ever ever be big one day. Then you look at it and the production's not even that good. There's a scene where this guy is chained up and Leatherface is just slicing him in half and he's squirming. He's like, oh my god. And then it shows his torso being cut in half and it's not moving at all. So it's like, oh my god. Still shot cutting. Oh my god. Still torso cutting, not squirming. I thought when the year 2000 hit, the whole squirming person but still shot of a dummy being cut in half that's clearly a dummy because it's not squirming. I thought we were done with that. Apparently we're not. Texas Chainsaw 3D reminds us of that. You would swear to god this movie was made to come out straight to DVD, not even Netflix, just DVD in a gas station somewhere. The only reason it's not, because it needs to be in 3D, so when Leatherface is swinging his chainsaw, it's all like, oh, it's coming after your face, it's so close because it's 3D. 3D gimmick bullshit. And there is a time paradox too, where Texas Chainsaw Massacre came out in 1974. I always assumed the movie took place in 1974. People certainly dressed like the 70s in the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and it shows flashbacks at the beginning of this movie, and everyone is from the 70s because it's stock footage of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Massacre. All right, now the main chick in this movie looks about 19 years old, so we'll say this is 19 years later, otherwise known as the early 90s. Is it the early 90s though? Is it really? Because there's a scene where a cop is walking through the house with his gun and a smartphone. So there are a couple of options here. One, the main chick in this movie is about 40 years old. Probably not. Two, they had smartphones in the early 90s. Probably not. Or three, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie now takes place in the early 90s in which everyone dresses like the 70s in the 90s. Actually, I think that was a thing. People did dress like the 70s in the 90s. But they didn't do that until the mid to late 90s. But you know what? I'm not even going to talk about it anymore. Why? Because I don't want to think about it anymore. Why? Because no one should ever think about Texas Chainsaw 3D as much as I already have. Texas Chainsaw 3D is dog shit. I told you, it's starting off with something. It's just not a bang. It's a dog shit sound that sound. All right, so 2013, what are your New Year's resolutions? You know, you might as well put in the comments section what you're not going to hold to and actually follow through with, because that's just fun. Otherwise, if you want to hold it close to the chest and actually follow through with it, and you don't want to put it in the comment section jinxing it, I understand, in which case I will ask you, what is the worst slasher flick you've ever seen in your life? Whatever it is, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.